I vented it. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy Sintel with Intel. I am here with the amazing Javi Koe. What's going on, everybody? Hey, man, I'll tell you what's going on. Episode 5 is what's going on. A real quick thing, you guys. If you want to watch the whole episode with us without the cuts, without the cut-down aspect of everything, because it's, you know, YouTube copyright restrictions, on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash Javi Koe, we got the whole thing, but you will need your own uh, Paramount Plus subscription. I almost said Halo Plus subscription. You will need your own Paramount <laughs> Plus subscription so you can open up the show in an adjacent window to our reaction. It's like you're watching it with your two favorite pals from the internet. So, there's that. <laughs> Let's get started. The colonial insurrection touched everyone. Even here, on our little out-of-the-way planet. Hey, good to see Tetherball still made it. I remember that game. <laughs> it's the little things, man. You can see how dedicated they are to creation of life. They also like to have fun. Dang, she looks kind of psycho, dude. I'm not gonna lie. A little bit. Like something out of uh, Get Out. Yeah. <laughs> John? Come on, John. Damn, John. John, you're strong as hell, ain't you? John! John! Yo, he did that with one arm. <laughs> I want to know why that game's okay. Why do they have that at all? Yeah. Right? Like, there's no safety latches, and then it's just kids out just, you know, dangling from planks of wood. What do you think of our little school? I think you need safety restrictions. I think it's wonderful. I think it's wonderful. Even that kid almost died. <laughs> I'll take you back by way of the aviary. Our scientists are introducing all kinds of bird species to the colony. Dang, he looks mad as hell. Right? What's up, Sarge? If there's nothing else you require, we've been ordered to rejoin Master Chief on the ground. God damn! Is she really that big? She's huge. I think the other lady's just really that small. I hope you find what you're looking for. And it could be an apple box. Hell no, that ain't no apple box. That's she's just walking. Uh, I mean, maybe th there was a lot of apple boxes. <laughs> she walked away. Where is she now? In the cave with her new prized possession. That's a lot of set. It is. I was thinking that, you know, especially for that drone shot, right? Yeah. I guess some of it could be CG. No, I, well, maybe, but that, well, it's definitely yeah. a drone shot, but maybe it's CG. There's a serious safety issue for you and for others. Until I've run some more tests, I'd like you to stay away from it. She's got, like, digital dandruff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's probably stupid, but I like when he's quiet. <laughs> well, yeah, because then I can go back to my illusion of who my Master Chief is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've been really surprised that the show hasn't been getting like rave reviews. It's been it's been getting a lot of uh, pushback. Oh yeah. We'll be back on the rubble in the morning. Really? Cuz it doesn't look like we're going anywhere. Bitch, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you did this. <laughs> hey, I'm going to free Madrigal even if I'm the only one left to fight. That was beautiful. <laughs> 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 you belong to me now. Wait, what? You can't do this. You owe me one ship and a shitload of deuterium money. You're going to work off that debt. <laughs> Aiden. Yes, Doctor. I'd like to compare the phases of the latent energy fields of both pieces. Yeah, yeah, Look. She always never minded her. Once they've got the artifact out of the rock, our mission is to get it on board Pioneer as quickly as possible before the Covenant figures out we're here. Yeah, more of her, please. What do they really want? To kill us, like we want to kill them. Do you ever wonder why? No. Move out! <laughs> I feel like that's the, that's the kind of conversation a lot of relationships just have in general, that one. Why? You never wonder why? Why are you talking so much? I wonder if all that gun grease in your hair didn't seep down into your brain. Asking me dumbass questions like that. <laughs> now, now shut up and let me watch the game. <laughs> Her face. <laughs> All right, jeez. Oh, I'm gonna have an terrible. attitude about it. Jesus, just ask some questions. <laughs> Calm down. Gotta be a bitch about it. Just curious. Not even 10 o'clock got an attitude on you. 
<laughs> she just woke up in jerk mode. I'm awake. You're a danger to yourself and to others. Chief, I haven't forgotten how to fight. You're grounded. Kai, report back to Dr. Key's ship and don't step off until we get back to Reach. It was a little hypocritical. A little bit, right? Uh, what about you? absolutely. You moved your pellet. Yeah. If I'm so dangerous, what's that make you? Yeah, you don't got an answer yeah. for that. Yeah. Can I just say that I'm proud of Kai for standing up for herself. Studies show a little pushback is healthy in any working relationship. Cortana. Yes, ear. Chief? I need you to do me a favor. Anything. Shut up. <laughs> Stop talking. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Get out of my ear, please. Bitch, you need to shut no. all the way up. You just need to shut all the way up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that scene. It's like a relationship that you didn't ask for. Exactly. <laughs> I, that is extremely hypocritical, though. I don't, I don't, I don't understand that. I guess he feels like he's got a better handle of things, maybe. That's how he thinks. We're gonna find out this episode, though. <laughs> Why did she have to say that? Maybe she felt he had doubts. Or maybe she has doubts and she's trying to convince herself, right? <laughs> that looks so familiar. <laughs> <laughs> you and I have fought alongside each other for many years. None of us would even be here were it not for you. Your concerns are my concerns. Let's get this artifact home. I will look into this personally. Thank you, sir. Do you think Master Chief believes him? Uh, no. Actually, yeah, I do. I do. I want Miranda taken off the entire project. Her hands are clean. I want to keep them that way. Good. Find a new parenting issue we can agree upon. Dang. <laughs> mm. Look. Mm -hmm. That's a man that's fed up with the drama. <laughs> I'm looking at the back of the I was just standing right next to it like that. I, I was Dang. Damn. I was wondering why his face was so close to that damn laser. Right? Touch it quick. Right? Touch it, touch it, touch it. Unfazed by it. Oh, does it recognize him or something? I don't know, but he's not. He's not in pain, so. Well, it all stopped. As soon as he showed up, it recognized him. It's because Daddy's here. What are you doing? I am on your side. Then why would you let her do this to me? This isn't about you. What has she got on you? Doctor, she's all working on the project effective immediately. That is an order. And he skipped Daddy mode and went right into Soldier mode. I ain't trying to have this conversation with you. That is an order. <laughs> I know. I know that looks familiar to you. <laughs> <laughs> What about the other Spartans? There are no archives on the origin of the Spartans. Stop lying to me! Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> he knows something's up. Everybody just smiling in his face. Stop all these lies. Oh, they straight kidnapped the children. John. You. <laughs> we need to get back to Reach with the artifact, and I promise I will explain everything. Okay? Don't trust it, dude. Shutting down Neural Bridge. Damn. Whoa. Damn. Damn. Mm -hmm. He was ready to pulverize her. <laughs> sure was. And where'd she get that?
What the hell? I, all right. Cortana, I swear, if you don't get out of my head, I slip space rupture detected. Oh, you know that means covenant. Incoming. Oh yeah, they got the banshees. Damn, damn. Whoa. There goes a good piece of that budget. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Sergeant! Air cover, go! Damn! Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. I hope he doesn't get killed in this episode. No, no way. Not this soon. Let's go. Jeez. Come on, Chief. Into the cave. That's right. Give me a gun. There we go. I like that relationship. Know what you got to do. Let's go. Pod doors opening. Infantry incoming. Oh. <laughs> Yes! More of this! Two, no, three Covenant Lances in Look at the grunts! Ah! <laughs> Switch to secondary. I know how the game is played, Quick. Yeah! I know how the game is played. <laughs> Let's go! Yes! Oh, you are around. Damn! Oh! <laughs> what? Mind if I drive? <laughs> Damn, they're fast, but they keep it right up with it, right? <laughs> oh. Oh, we're just getting started here. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the warm up. You need to bring that ass back to me now. Roger that. Oh damn. Oh, oh damn. Now you care about your family. <laughs> Dang. She took that hit and just <laughs> brushed it off. Damn. That sound effect. Yep. Come on, your shield down. Damn mission. Okay. Yeah! Uh, they did it! Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Yes, the vehicle snatch! That's what I'm talking about! Let's go! Oh no. Uh oh. She must got an overshield on. Boom! Master Chief, oh, baby! Damn. You better ask about me, it's what I do. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I've been waiting for. This. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, give me this. Oh, come on. Nice. I'm gonna punch you to death. <laughs> All these hands. All these hands. Mm. Oh, and the curb stomp. Covenant spirit incoming. Oh no. Oh shit. Whoa. Whoa, word. Yeah. I'm not sure it'll help. What are they called? Brutes? I think that's what they're called. Nice. Oh, damn. Oh. Oh, they're going to tease us with a brute and then have them not fight. Oh, that's just wrong. All right, though. At least we know what's coming, though.
Oh, wait a minute. They dropped off another goodie for us. Oh, two of them. <laughs> yeah. What's in the pods? Oh, no, they dropped her off. I'm reading a human life. Oh, okay. I thought they was about to drop something else off. Uh... All right. What's crazy to me is the moment he took his helmet off, it pulled me out. Oh yeah, at the end? It did, it did. But it was like that last like 10, 15, 10, 12 minutes of them just going like all in Wait. with the battle and everything. I really, it, the, the nostalgia just bloomed over me, my guy. Yeah. Like I was <laughs> beaming. I mean, wow, I was like, this is what I've been waiting for. This, this moment right here. And then he just took his helmet off and pulled me right smack dab out of it. I know people in the comments are going to have something to say about it. That's how I feel. Deal with it. Yeah. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of, like, I want to see that. Yeah. It, this this episode delivered. I mean, you said something in the very beginning. You're like, oh, I think this this episode is only like 40 minutes or something yeah. like that. That's normally that's normally a good indication that it's a short episode because they're going to be spending money. Right, right, um, right, right. And they and and they definitely was like, okay, let's see what the budget for today is going to be because we're about to blow the whole wad, baby. Yeah, that action, the actions. I mean, your instinct was right because I was like, oh no, it's a short episode. You're like, this that means there's going to be some dope action, and then certainly delivered at the end, man. I was like really happy. With when you saw that like one I mean it wasn't a one but there was a long take when he's just running through like high octane high speed just messing bitches up oh man I was so happy I was just wanted more of that just give me more more gun foo you know <laughs> I love all that. Oh, no, ex exactly, man. Exactly. I think this was a, a, a fans episode. This is for the episode. Like last week was 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 really good with like getting some some story development and, and digging a little bit deeper into who the characters are and their and their why. Oh, uh, which is good. It's fine. You need that. But this one, man. I mean, it was just a, it was a throwback to why you love the game. And I'm speaking in terms of the game. Not the book, yeah. the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the game, you know, it's about the action. It's about switching our weapons. It's about you know doing the pistol whips. Yo, when they did the vehicle snatch, when he jumped off of the when he jumped off of the uh, the warthog and grabbed onto the banshee and was and was and was like about to 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 take control. Like I was like, this is it. They're they're just nailing it. And then hearing the sound of the shields going out, like I don't know what kind of overshield old girl had on, but I ain't never seen that shield in the game. Yeah. She was getting tagged. And, <laughs> She was so like, uh, I can, uh, wait a minute. Ooh. She was just, she was just standing there taking hits. <laughs> <laughs> like not even phased. I'm like, bro, yeah. that's that's some crazy shield work. I just wish that we got more of that, like the you know Master Chief moving around. I, was it satisfying enough for you? Is my question. Because like for me, I just wanted it to. I wanted even just just more. I just wanted more. We ever get a, a bag of Muddy Buddies and just eat one? You just can't. No, <laughs> you got to go through the whole bag. You know what I mean? I saw, and I felt like they gave me like a handful. I'm like, no, I want the whole fucking bag, bitch. I want the whole bag. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and yeah. so, like, it just frustrates me when they introduce something super cool and they only give you, like, a snippet of it. I'm like, God damn it. It's like, in Minority Report, there's this sequence where Tom Cruise has this gun that he, he, like, just whips around like a cowboy and fires. And then Steven Spielberg just uses that for 10 seconds. And I'm like, yo, that was the dopest shit in the entire film. And you just threw it away within 10 seconds. Like, no, no. Come on. Come on. Yeah. But, like, what, what we did get there was pretty dope, though. Just, like, the, his movement. It's like, I really appreciate the movement of it all and like you said the sound effects it's like it brings you right back and what you said made me realize something because there was a lot of like weird back and forth we had with the audience in episode one because we're like yo this is like I, I here's where I feel with the game and they're going this direction over here and a lot of people in the comments were like well they're going with the book and I'm like the book isn't what got this show greenlit bitch <laughs> the game is what got the show greenlit Yes. And so, yes. um, and, and so I get what they're trying to do because the book probably had a more fleshed out story that they could work with mm. and build off of. I get you, but you still need to have all the nuances of the game in there because that's why the show got greenlit in the first place. It's like nothing frustrates me more than when a game does wildly successful and they're like, okay, bonk that audience. We're going to make this for a completely different audience. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. 
Yes. But anyway, like they gave it to us here. It's like, all right, all right, all right. I wish we, I wish we got it sooner. I wish we got more of it. But cool. I'm, I'm like, I look forward. It's a build up. How many more episodes? Four more episodes. So ideally, we get even more action as the episodes, you know, go on. Like. Yeah. This quality. Yeah, I was happy. That's the easiest way to put it. Just I just like seeing him move like that and, and going crazy and shit. I also like to get a chance to see we got a chance to see some of the vulnerabilities of I forgot I forgot the other uh this other Spartan's name with the with the gun oil in her hair. Mm -hmm. Um because there there was a thing there was a real there was a real hypocritical moment that uh she and, and Chief shared and Chief was like, I had to pull you because you know you're not battle ready anymore. And we were both like, Well, that's kind of hypocritical. Like you you going through the same thing she is, you know. You you kind of out of pocket for that, Chief. Yeah, exactly. But but there is a difference between the Master Chief and all the other Spartans, and he has the ability to compartmentalize, or at least so we thought, until he absolutely loses his ish at the very very end. But up until then, he has a he has the ability to compartmentalize some of the stuff to, and still remain battle effective. Like you can't be any more battle effective than to take a banshee, crash it into another one of the Covenant's main ships, totally annihilating like. 20 or 30 of the enemy pick up a gun and still keep it moving like that's some combat efficiency yeah whereas you know the 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 other spartan uh was was having a hard time dealing with it you know the um uh, everything from the just just seeing the, the horrors of war so there is a different there, there's levels to the spartan thing right you know and i'm glad that we got a chance to see like a good a, a good uh, uh where a line is kind of like drawn in the sand what separates master chief from everybody else. Right. You're talking about Kai one two five, by the way. Kai one two five. That's yeah. that's it. I don't think anybody's down her her ability to fight. She's a Spartan. But, you know, for somebody to deal with the the new version of of herself in, in terms of uh, maintaining combat efficiency, you, nah man, you you ain't John. Right. <laughs> I mean, his, ass not. his assessment was definitely accurate, I suppose, because she just completely locked up in the battlefield. And yeah. like when it when push came to shove, she just got stuck. And so I guess his assessment was right. It felt wrong in the moment. It's like, how, yeah. why do you get to keep going? It was almost like a parent going, do as I say, not as I do. I'm, it's just like, exactly. That's <laughs> exactly what it was. Yeah. Because she, <laughs> she's like, how come you get to keep on? And she just kept his mouth shut because he didn't have a good answer. To, it's, it's to her credit. Maybe it, Chief has just had a little bit more time to deal with it. That's true. I mean, he's had he's had a couple more days, I'm assuming. That's true. Uh, it's, it's, so may, may, maybe that, that may be the reason. But... <laughs> We are not the same on this battlefield. <laughs> Yo, you, I'm John, baby. <laughs> how did you feel about her conversation with Vonik134 when she's like, do you ever wonder why something something? Do you ever wonder why you don't wonder? And he just kept like, he, he, he's like, I wonder why you ask me so much stupid ass questions. <laughs> <laughs> He kept he kept squinting at her, and I'm like, whoa, okay, that's intense. I almost felt like he was layering, he was putting too much emotion into the lines. That was my that was my one grievance with my one my one issue with that scene work, because she's got okay. she's got these emotional layers now because she's like waking up. She's human, almost like right. almost like the allegory of the cave. You know, she's pulled out. She can't go like now. She can't unsee what she saw, and right. and so. Right. But for him, he's a soldier, and it just feels. I'm like. In terms of acting, like, I'm just wondering why he he was so, like, emotionally charged in his response. <laughs> it was it was funny to me because um, sometimes, you know, it's that whole uh, Mars-Venus thing, right? Sure. And um, I know, um, and, I'm, and I'm only speaking for myself. Sure. I'm only speaking for all men. I'm only speaking for myself. That, that sometimes does, does come into conflict, especially, like, if I'm trying to get stuff done. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, you know, my... The, 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 my significant other will be asking me a question and this, then the third, and I'm focused on the task at hand, and I'm just not in that space to be vulnerable to to have that that, that type of conversation in that moment. And that's what it felt like. It felt like friends because they are they grew up together. They're their family. Yeah. And my man is like, yo, I got this task that needs to be done, and and she's over here like, well, tell me how you're feeling right now. She's rolling her hair. It's like, what's not? What, what are you talking about? We got this job that I'm trying to do, and I don't give a damn about your feelings. Now, it's not necessarily like 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 men are just, uh, just just don't have emotion whatsoever but you are dealing with a soldier who is emotionally suppressed right it's, that is the fact of this particular story and she's trying to bring something another element in that's that's clashing with what their focus should be and it just made me laugh because i'm like i've been that soldier who has been emotionally distracted because i'm focusing on this thing that i want to do and i'm totally not there for the person who's trying to have an emotional connection with me in that moment so i felt that even though this is based in science 
fiction, there's some real reality, real tones to it that, that, I, that I understood. And that look on his face is like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah. No, right, right, right. I need you to go over there yeah. <laughs> so that I can do this thing right yeah. here. <laughs> no, okay. So it just got to hit home for me. Okay, granted, <laughs> his position makes sense in terms of the dialogue, right? It's just, I, th right. I think that in my mind, and maybe the audience could educate me on this, I took it as because they are emotionally suppressed, his his mannerisms and I guess uh, his attitude should resemble something like Spock. Ah, uh, just more. It's just one hundred percent logic. Yeah, exactly. It's just okay. logic. There's no emotional. Right. There's no emotional uh, weight on top of the lines. It's just like no. This is, you know, is, is zeros and ones. Just zeros and ones, baby. Like it's very binary. This is what we're here to do. It would almost be like trying to talk to a wall. He's not going to give you an emotional response at all. Mm. You know. Okay. I mean, it was humorous okay, for the reasons that you mentioned. It was definitely humorous, yeah. but it's just like, it, it just doesn't line up with what I thought the show was telling me. Maybe what's being suppressed is like, uh, I don't know how to put this properly. Like the emotions she's feeling is suppressed, but there is still emotions that Spartans are left with, which is probably, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm reticent to say this, but maybe rage is an emotion that they're left okay. with in order to be, in order to leverage that for war. And so that's what's okay. coming out at her. But you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to justify why he was acting that way. I just want, I wanted it to be less is all I'm saying. But that being said, yeah. there, there, was, there was a moment with Master Chief and uh, what's his name? The, the the commander, the captain, Jacob. You know what I'm saying? The, oh, his captain. Yeah, his captain. He was, there was a scene with his captain. Mm -hmm. And it, it goes by, and you, I think most people might not notice it, but Pablo Schreiber, that's his name, right? The Master Chief? Yes, yes. He did this mm -hmm. really cool thing in that moment that I liked a lot, which is he managed to make himself look like he had this childlike innocence in that moment mm -hmm. where he's like okay. looking to his captain. He's like, I'm lost here. And I, these, these, mm -hmm. these memories are coming up and I, like, this doesn't feel good. <laughs> like <laughs> this is a, and I know I'm being lied to. And he's turning mm -hmm. to this person that he thought he could trust. He had no like ego in his face in that moment. And I was like, wow, he, he just looks like an innocent kid. Like, and mm -hmm. it takes a really good actor to be able to like convey that, you know, because it's very right. easy to just be machismo, I'm a chief bitch. Like yeah. <laughs> it's, very, it's very easy to go there. It's harder to right. be this dude who's just completely vulnerable. It's, like it's, he's this hulking dude, right? It's hard mm -hmm. to be this vulnerable person. And he managed to pull it off in that scene. And I, I just liked the nuance of that. I thought it was really nice. Yeah, you, and you had said something to the fact uh, while that scene was going on and you were like, uh, do you think the Master Chief believes him? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and at first I was like, nah, nah, I think he kind of like, he might be playing like the larger game. But then, you know, kind of like what you're saying in that moment, I looked and I had to like recorrect myself as I'm watching that, that moment, moment pan out. And I was like, no, I, 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 he doesn't, he doesn't know. Right. You know, I think he is like in that moment, like a child just trying to find some kind of answer. And, and the, and the big kids, I mean, his parents per se are just busy having these adult conversations and is not and it's not like letting letting him in on it so he has you know he does what a lot of children do he's like well i'll do it myself <laughs> is it and my fault that mommy and daddy are separated just tell me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because like that they're they're together right like captain and um, um oh i don't oh, know <laughs> I have no idea. because that's their well well that's the thing like because that's his like the, they their common thread is their daughter right who is who is the scientist that's what i'm assuming right because because th there's that line that they threw away and he said uh, said something to the fact of um, that was the one parenting thing that they did get right was them agreeing that she needs to be off world or, or taking off the case. And then also the fact of when her ship was shot down, the, the young lady, the young scientist, I can't think of her name right now. The only time we've actually seen our main scientist, uh, what's her, whatever her name is. Um, Oh my gosh, uh, Master Chief's handler. Dr. Catherine uh, Howells. Oh Catherine, yeah. yeah. The only time we've really seen Catherine think outside of herself mm -hmm. was when she looked out the window and then she saw that she was, that her, I'm assuming is her daughter, was struggling to, to get off the ship. Please, com uh, um, people in the comments, please correct me. But that's what I was, it, it seemed like that's what was implied to me. I, I didn't know that they were related. Because Catherine Halsey, I didn't, Catherine Halsey is the character. I had no, if, they, if that's her mom, uh, um, Dr. Miranda Keyes' mom, I had no yeah. idea. That well, and, and I may I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but that's that's how it was implied, especially with that throwaway parent line and the fact that she cared so much to go out and help her when the ship went down. Right. I was like, oh, okay. Now you want to be a parent? It's the only time you've cared about anybody outside of yourself. Right. And I think that moment of maybe seeing potentially, if if I'm wrong, if I'm right, 
seeing her child hurt and needing help and right. she actually was like let me not be selfish in this moment my my right favorite thing. moment in the in this episode besides besides the action that was, that took place at the end my favorite episode my favorite moment was uh, when Quan and Soren were in the desert and Quan is like I will keep fighting for the for the cause until I die blah blah, blah. like this very dramatic monologue and Soren is like that's real beautiful anyway <laughs> I just love how he just doesn't give two shits about any of this he's like look I got shit to do <laughs> yeah. I can't lie I need um I need that storyline to pick up yeah. I think that storyline right there is the thing that might be might be dragging a lot of the rest of the rest of the show. And as much as I enjoy Bukim Woodbine's performance, and it is really good, it's just not adding anything to yet. And I'm sure later on, I'm just like, oh, you should have connected the dots back in episode three. But yeah. as of right now, in this space and moment, it's it, nothing is working with me right now with that, especially after you get done seeing a, an epic a battle that we just got done watching, and then you fall back in hindsight and think about that scene. It's like, I need that to pick up. Well, Some, I think that the, the obvious direction that that would go is that her uh, energy, her um, gusto, uh, whatever you want to call it, um, huspa, <laughs> whatever it is, huspa, <laughs> yeah, whatever it is, like that's going to inspire other people in, in that area. And, and right. she'll have an army that will help facilitate, you know, overcoming the the covenant and whatever. I, I, that's what I'm guessing. Is that that's yeah. where, that's where that's all headed? And so right now it looks silly and, and whatever, whatever. But like I feel like that's the eventuality that we will arrive at in the coming episodes. I mean, at least it's going to hint at that. And so and it's going to turn out that uh, Bokeem was wrong, and he should have you know he should have believed in her. Or something like that, but I I just like his attitude a lot about it was just like it's you know I don't know how to articulate it any better, but I just he almost feels like a character outside of the show if that makes any sense just because he's sort of no that does make sense yeah. that does that's actually a very good way of putting it that that all a lot of that section seems a little outside of the show but but Bukhan Bokim excuse yeah. me. Uh, more so than than the rest. Please yeah. No, I just I, it's almost like he's just an outside observer, just sort of laughing at all of this, you know. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, I mean, I, even though he's not, it's almost like he's omnipotent and he can see where everything is headed and whatever, so to speak. At least from his his own perspective, his own ego, everything is just kind of funny to him. I really appreciate that for some reason because it, it contrasts all the other characters. Everybody else is like in this serious theatrical mode, you know. Everybody, <laughs> like you know, you you go back and watch the the, the scene work with uh, Danny. Tapani, who plays Captain Jacob Keys, everything's very serious and it's like very mm. Mm, acting, right? <laughs> you know, <laughs> which I get, I get it. It's it's a serious this is show. My Emmy moment, yeah. <laughs> I, but it, but and it, it, it doesn't help that sometimes the dialogue's a little contrived, you know. Like, in, in, and so there's this moment when the Covenant wakes up or something. He goes, "Who's it?" Uh, it's something about a beacon or something. He goes. Who is it talking to? And she goes, what is it talking to? I'm like, what the hell's with this dialogue? <laughs> it's just so, so silly. Um, but it's sci-fi. It is what it is. And you know, he's, he's working He's working with, 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 the, with the material as best as he can. And, but Bokeem Woodbine, for me, it's, he just strikes me as someone who's like, he's just having fun. And, and I just need more of that energy in the show. Because everybody else is so goddamn serious. <laughs> You know, you, that 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 is a very good point. I was kind of hoping that we could have had a little bit of, a, um, I guess, levity with uh, with um, with Cortana. Sure. Even Cortana is a little is, is a little more serious as well. I mean, I'm, I'll never get tired of her voice. Her voice right. is magical to me. But um, it's still. But you're right. It does need something else on that on that other side. Right. To kind of like offset it. When you're playing the game, there is a bit of levity to it. You listen to the way the aliens talk and whatnot. It's a yeah, little, especially the grunts. Yeah, yeah, it's a little bit funny. You know, <laughs> it's not all serious. Yeah. I got a little bit pissed at Quan when she took out Soren when she just zapped him. I'm like, I don't know where you got that weapon if it was on the bike, but I don't, I don't. She MacGyvered that shit. The, the fact <laughs> that. <laughs> But I guess no she, idea. She, she's doing what she has to do. I guess is the, is the point of that. Like she's just her, she's all about survival. And I, and and one more thing, one more character we didn't really talk a whole lot about, and that is uh, uh, Mackie, right? The uh, the the human that's playing both sides. She's like the the double agent, the covenant right. double agent slash I don't know savior of the of the covenant or mm -hmm. whatever. I just need some of that to kind of pick up as well. Um, yeah, I mean she's still interesting, but it's just like okay, we're we're about we're about to creep on episode what. 
five coming around. Yeah, about halfway through the season. Well, the show the show is doing a there's a lot of moving parts in this show, and so it's it's getting it's like you know if you get to like season four or five of Game of Thrones, if there's so many things going on that you really can only spend a couple minutes on each thing, right? And and, and, and so it's so it all starts to spread out, and I think that's happening rapidly here because it's in, it introduced so much stuff in the first four episodes that you really only get a few minutes with each thing now, and so I, I get what you're saying. Like it would it'd be nice if it, if these things can pick up and get more momentum. I think the show, even though it was shorter for the action, I think in general it needs to be at least an hour every single time because there's so much stuff that they're talking about through each episode. It is what it is. I'm trying my best not to pass too much judgment on it yet because it's. I want to complete the season before I like give my full assessment of the, the situation. But yeah. um, I don't understand how Master Chief isn't more enraged and is like, yo, get this shit out of me now. Like, <laughs> yeah, because she's just yeah, like, stop. It. It, it's not just that. Like, she took his legs out from under him when he when he tried to bop <laughs> scientists in the head. <laughs> it was like she was like, whoa, 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 shut it down, shut it down, shut it yeah. down. <laughs> there was about to be some violence unfolding. <laughs> Oh man, yo, that was funny. Of the way he hit the ground too, with his eyes rolled in the back of his head. <laughs> it's like, oh, you had to. The first thing I'd have done when I woke up, I'm like, yo, you got to take her out. Exactly. Just, just, just can't happen no more. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like the the fact that the fact that he wasn't asking for that is a little bit odd, and he. He has to, he, it, it, it at least needs to come up in the next episode because for him not to ask about that seems absurd. You know, there's this thing that compromises me any time now. Like, you can just, at will, just shut me off. I don't know. If he's more connected to his human essence now because he took out that pill in the back of his, in, in, in his back, right? That, that, was, that was suppressing his emotion and whatnot. The first thing I'm asking is, yo, you don't, you can't take this out. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Just get it out. Get it out now. I don't care. I don't. I don't. Wanna, I don't want to hear it. I ain't moving from this chair till you take this shit out of me. <laughs> like, you know, that would be my response. Hey, well, this is about to wrap this up. Um, let me know uh, what you all think in the comments. I thank you so much for for your questions. They have been <laughs> tons of fun. I know it's been catching a lot of heat. It's been like a, a, a line kind of drawn in the sand, but the people that love it and, and the people that that are very disappointed. Uh, now that we've got some new action added to to the mix, uh, has your feelings changed? Uh, let me know if you're on the it's, it's working out or um it's not hey uh i guess that's about it for this yo this is your boy intel with the intel of course i'm here with the incredible jabby koe yo go ahead and say what's up to the people and then drop your socials real quick yeah everybody hit me up on uh, youtube.com slash get jabby or jabby koe on instagram and if you want to watch the whole episode with us without the cuts head over to patreon.com slash jabby koe thanks again and just in case you didn't get all that don't worry the link is going to be in the description with that being said yo we out of here Peace.